Everyone knows Juanita Her eyes each a different color Her teeth stick out and her chin goes in And her knuckles they drag on the floor Those aren't the words! Their children present Her hair is like a briar She stands in a bow-legged stand Possibly give me a chance. So the very first thing you want to do is make sure that your guitar is in standard E tuning. And I think the best way to go through this song is to just basically go through the tab. I tabbed it out by ear and I'm going to put it on my Patreon so you guys can check it out. So if you get lost during this lesson, make sure to uh, follow along with the tab, like I said, that I'm going to put on my Patreon. So the first part I'm going to show you is the intro, which goes like this. So what I was doing there was I was plucking the 6th fret on the G string twice. Throwing some vibrato in there on that 2nd pluck. Then I'm going to pluck 4, 6, 7, then slide from 7 to 9. And then I'm plucking that 7th fret on the B string. So, so far we have... And then I'm moving this shape down 2 frets to the 5th and 7th. Now the third and fourth, and I'm going to pluck it a second time into a hammer-on pull-off on the fifth fret on the B string. So I'm going, and then I'm going to go down to the second fret, and I'm going to play the B and the G string on the second fret, and then pointer finger on the G string, B string's going to be open, and now I'm going to hammer on and slide my index finger to that second fret and then hammer on with my middle finger on the second fret. So I go. It's got kind of a cool Spanish feel to that little riff right there. And then I'm going to play the fifth fret on the B string, fourth fret on the E string. Move that shape down two frets to the third and the second fret. And now the sixth and the fifth fret, sixth fret on the G string, fifth fret on the B string. Move that down two frets to the fourth and third fret. Now we're going to make an A chord and we're going to pluck it. So zzz, open A string, second fret, second fret, second fret, and then I don't really play either of these E's. I just play the four strings in the middle. Now we're going to make an E7 chord, which is open E, 2nd fret A, open D, 1st fret G, and then the B and the E are going to be open, and I'm going to strum through it. The next part is the verse, which is actually pretty easy to play. It uh, is an alternating picking pattern between the um, A string and the E string. So I'm holding an A major chord, and I'm going like this. So like I said, pretty much the whole time I'm holding that A major chord, and I'm plucking A open, and then I pluck the D, the G, and the B string twice, and then E open, and then the D and the G string. The D the G and the B string twice. So I'm pretty much doing that um, two part pluck right after each bass note I play. So A, pluck, pluck, E, pluck, pluck, A, pluck, pluck, A, E, pluck, pluck, A, pluck, pluck, E, pluck, pluck. And then I go to an E major chord and I pluck open E. And I'm going to pluck the D, the G, and the B string twice, like I did, just like I did with the A major, and then I'm going to pluck the E again, open, and then pluck the D, the G, and the B once. 
Now what I'm doing also is I'm taking some pressure off the strings when I play that, um, that pluck pluck. So listen very closely. If you don't take pressure off the strings, it sounds like this. I like it when it sounds like this, and this is me taking pressure off the strings right now. Okay, so moving along to the third part, it's going to start on an E major chord. Uh, let's play through it, I'll show you how it goes. So we're going E major. So open E, then I pluck the D, the G, and the B string twice. And now I'm going to take my pinky and put that on the fourth fret on the E string. And I'm taking my middle finger and I'm going to put that on the second fret on the D string. And that's going to make the rest of that E major chord. So when I do pluck the D, the G, and the B, the notes are going to be the same. So we have E, pluck, pluck. Put your fourth fret on the E string. Move that middle finger to the second fret on the D. E, and then D, the G, and the B twice. And now I go back to that A major. And then I hit an open E, just like I did. Pluck the D, the G, and the B twice. And now I'm going to put my pinky on this fifth fret on the E string and strum through the a string all the way through the E string. I'm barring the second fret with my pointer finger or my index finger. And the next part goes like this. So we have a D chord, a D major chord, and we're going to go open D, pluck, pluck. That's the G, the B, and the E this time twice. And then fourth fret on the D string. Same plucking right there. Now we're going to make an E major and we're going to actually pluck the D string right there and then pluck the D, the G, and the B once. Okay, and the next part we go back into the verse. So it goes like this. And the only part that changes is when we come to that E, that E major, we're going to pluck the A string once, and then we're going to do the D, the G, and the B three times. Okay, we're almost done. Just two more parts. Then it's going to go like this, E major. So open E string, and then D, the G, and the B twice. We do that same fourth fret on the E string, and we move our middle finger over to that second fret on the D string. E string, D, the G, and the B twice, and then we're going to bar the second fret and do that same A thing, but we're going to pluck the open A string, and then the second fret on the D, and then the D, the G, and the B once, and then we're going to go strum through all of them. So that this part should sound like this. Last part of the song, closing it up, is this. So what we're doing there is we're making a D major chord. We're going to take our pinky and put that on the fourth fret on the D string. And then we're going to pluck the G and the B string. Now the B and the E string. I'm going to make an E major, pluck open E, second fret on the A string, and then the D, the G, and the B. And now we're going to make, this is actually the G shape of the A major chord, if you're familiar with the cage theory, um, or the caged patterns. So what I'm doing is I'm taking my pinky, putting that on the fifth fret on the E string, ring finger is going to go on the fourth fret on the E string, and then I'm going to bar the second fret on the D, the G, and the B, and I'm going to go... E, A, D, G, D, pause, then D, B, G, D, and then strum through pretty much E through G. 
And that's the song. I hope you guys liked it. The best way to practice this song is to uh, watch the video on YouTube. I know the, uh, the clip from the movie is on YouTube and you can play along with it. Uh, and also grab the tab for this song, which, like I said, I tabbed out by ear and I put on my Patreon, so go over there and check that out. And be sure to check out all my other Coco guitar lessons. I love the music in that movie. Uh, my kids love that movie, and so I decided to do all the lessons from Coco. So be sure to check them out. Thanks for supporting my channel. Make sure to subscribe and like this video, and I will see you guys on the next guitar lesson. Keep rocking.